Hi everyone, welcome to Cats and Cardamom. Uh, we are two working women that are trying in our spare time to turn about five acres of property in Maryland. I'd say about three of it is probably wooded um, and the rest is fields and house uh, and yard. Bit of a gravel pad in back of the house. Uh, the, the property has a bit of an interesting history that way. Um, but we're trying to turn it into a partially self-sufficient homestead, permaculture paradise, uh, orchard, small fruit, garden, um, some seed farming, which I've recently gotten into. Um, so we've got, I'll just do a very short tour of the front part of it, because it is raining, um, nice warm rain on a New Year's Day. Uh, I don't know what the plants think about it, but it seems like it's uh, practically, practically spring here. But uh, the, the fenced-in area here is what we're calling the orchard. So we've already put in some dwarf fruit trees, uh, one apple from seed, a couple um, uh, peach seedlings also came from seed from a neighbor um, and we've got chickens so we've got the chicken coop over there which I will do a more detailed tour of one of these days um, with eight chickens uh, unfortunately a really high proportion of roosters right now because we let one of the hens hatch out her own eggs and so uh, you know you get a 50 50 ratio and sometimes unfortunately the statistics play you poorly uh, next to that out here we are have the beginnings, um, it hasn't gotten very far, but the beginnings of a hedge that will hopefully someday replace the fence or at least supplement the fence. So there is a trifoliate orange planted down in here. Th things don't look like much since it's January. Um, but then we've got a mixture of hazelnuts, bush cherries, bush plums, uh, and currants, black, current, black and red currants that are planted all along there that will hopefully do well. They were just planted last season um, and so they haven't done much yet, but hopefully this year they will take off. We've already been on the property a couple of years and so what I've noticed is that the first year you plant things they're they stay kind of small um, and then the following year if they're going to take off they really do look good. They either die or they take off. Um, so I've got a apothecary rose, very heavily scented medicinal rose planted in this corner. Um, I've got my seed crop of collards planted over here um, and then we have some two-year-old um, or I guess actually three-year-old now, elder trees practically, um, some bush plums, some bush cherries over on what we call the strip, which is a, basically a strip of property between ourselves and our neighbors. We're working on um, eliminating some bamboo that is there just because it is so invasive and our neighbor particularly would like to get rid of that. Um, and then further out, which I'm not going to go and do a full tour of today, but we'll hopefully do a tour of pretty soon, uh, we've got the uh, vegetable garden and a very small greenhouse in back of the house um, on what was formerly a gravel pad. And then some very small swales in the front of the house that we have mostly planted herbs and strawberries on. Um, we also have a large wood pile around here. It is possible to get pretty big dumps of both wood chips, um, burning logs, and larger tree trunks if, if you're willing to accept them. Uh, for free from arborists and so I've got a big pile of cherry right now that I'm very slowly working on cutting down for lumber um, and then the pieces that aren't good for lumber for firewood. Uh, so I think we'll end the tour here today. My nearest resolution is to semi-regularly post to this channel with updates on what is going on and what is changing. Um, unfortunately we did not start this when we first installed uh, our first plants and, and made our first installation but I will do some more detailed tours talking about what we did and maybe try to dig up some pictures of the, the, early, uh, the early year or two. And with that, hope everyone has a good day.